Special Reports is a daily show that will cover issues surrounding the economic collapse. All our reports and daily alert news are backed up by source links. We work very hard to bring you the facts and we research everything before presenting the report. Subscribe for latest on financial crisis, oil price, global economic collapse, dollar collapse, gold, silver, bitcoin, global reset, new world order, economic collapse, economic news, political, geopolitical news. Today, we talk about 100% truth about global currency reset. What is the global currency reset? There is more than one meaning that is attached to the phrase global currency reset. A standard definition would be a return to a global currency system that all nations would agree upon. The last time nations gathered together to agree upon a new global currency system was in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire. While World War II was still going on leaders from nations around the world decided on a new global currency system. This led to the formation of global organizations like the International Monetary Fund and GATT, which later became the World Trade Organization. The world's allied nations agreed on a fixed currency rate which was sort of based on a global gold standard. The US dollar was the currency that nations used to back their currency under this agreement. The reason for this was because the United States was in possession of most of the world's gold supply at this time. America benefited greatly from this new currency system and the dollar made its way into central banks around the world. In time we left the fixed rate system. Richard Nixon stopped backing US dollars with gold globally in 1971. This was known as the Nixon shock. Today all the major currencies float on a global market. While some things have changed we are still on the remnants of the Bretton Woods system. Many central banks still have the dollar in their reserves and it remains in high demand today. After the 2008 global meltdown, many have speculated that we are going to return to another gold standard. Some believe that there will be another monetary system altogether. Many armchair economists have emerged to claim that some nations may even base their currency values on their resources. The claim is that all currencies will revalue based on the country's assets. This will cause gold to skyrocket as people begin to seek a hedge of protection from depleting currency values. The problem with this theory is that there are major obstacles to overcome. First, central banks around the world would need to agree to this and this would put major constraints on their monetary policies. Second, there would need to be a lot of cooperation with governments from all over the world in order to implement this new system or to return to an older system. Some nations would gain from this while others would lose. Third, nations would want to preserve their wealth while moving to a new system. If most of their wealth is in dollars then this will present a problem. Fourth, global organizations like the IMF, the TO, and the World Bank are relics from the Bretton Woods era. They would fight to have a relevant role in the new system. So these same armchair economists predict that the dollar is going to collapse in a night. They claim the whole global economy is going to come crashing down in a day. This will force nations around the world to negotiate a new global currency system. Many cite the 2008 economic crisis as proof of a coming collapse. Others rewrite history and insert bad economic theories as proof. Today the global currency reset has become a major conspiracy theory that believes the dollar will crash. This theory proclaims that nations around the world will abandon the dollar. As a result, people have started to prepare for a future dollar crash. They invest in precious metals, they buy foreign currencies, and many have even become preppers and they stockpile food. This conspiracy theory has become big business as many people have made money selling several different types of items that relate to a belief in an any minute overnight dollar collapse. This belief system has many converts and it is cultic in nature. Part of the belief system has its origins in New Age philosophies, while other parts of this belief system are tied into biblical prophecy. As a result, new converts are made all the time and people are driven more by emotion and their worldview rather than being driven by sound economic advice and principles. The truth about the coming global currency reset reveals the conspiracy theories and debunks all of their beliefs. It corrects the rewriting of history and it also corrects the junk economics used by propagandists to recruit more people into this belief system. It provides a list of sources that will help the reader do their own research and come to their own conclusions. The History of the Global Currency Reset What is the history of the global currency reset otherwise known as the GCR? The global currency reset theory is one huge super conspiracy theory that contains many sub-theories. This is where it came from. In the later part of the 20th century, 
many conspiracy theories about the United States dollar and the Federal Reserve began to emerge. One theory says that the Federal Reserve Act was passed in secret. The claim is that the majority of Congress was at home on Christmas break when this law was being passed. This belief is that it was passed by a minority. It is implied that most of Congress was against this law and that is why it was passed in secret. Another conspiracy theory says that the 16th Amendment was never ratified. Therefore the United States does not have the right to tax the American citizen. Another conspiracy states that the Rothschild dynasty forced England into the War of 1812 because America refused to renew the charter of the Second Central Bank. Many other types of monetary conspiracy theories started to form during this time as history was being rewritten. During the 1990s Harvey Francis Barnard came up with a set of proposed economic reforms. He called them the National Economic Security and Recovery Act or NASAR. Barnard tried to get Congress to take a look at his proposals, but they turned him down. In an effort to gain popularity he put the proposals on the Internet around 1999. Shortly after that, a woman who is known as the Glove of Winless found these proposals. She began posting about them in Internet forums. This woman put a New Age twist to these proposed laws. She claimed that Nisara was a bill that was stuck in Congress before finally being passed in a secret session. According to her, it was signed by President Bill Clinton in secret in March of 2000. They have been trying to implement this law ever since. The Dove of Winless was later identified as Shani Candace Goodwin, a former student of the Ramtha School of Enlightenment. This school teaches New Age doctrines. After Goodwin began commenting on Nisara, other internet-based conspiracy theorists latched onto it. Much of the terminology in the GCR and the phrase, the global currency reset, can be traced back to Goodwin's conspiracy theory. She profited by getting people to send her donations in the guise of supporting her website. Goodwin attached her Nisar doctrines to investment scams like Omigo Trust, CMKX, and the Iraqi Dinar. Her claim was that these investments would pay off as soon as Nisara was implemented. Victims of these investment scams converted to the Nisara doctrines because it gave them false hope. This caused this conspiracy theory to grow expediently. After the 2008 global economic crisis all of these conspiracy theories combined under one roof to make what we see today as the global currency reset. So while the main conspiracy theory says there is going to be a dollar collapse, many of the sub-theories conflict with each other. Gold and silver merchants use the global currency reset propaganda to sell precious metals as endless commercials proclaiming a dollar collapse constantly appear on radio and television. The truth about the coming global currency reset. The global currency reset is also known as the GCR. What is it? Where did it come from? How did this belief system emerge? The global currency reset is actually comprised of many conspiracy theories blended together to make an overall belief system. Because of this, there are many definitions and catchphrases tied to this conspiracy theory. Part of this belief system says that there is a coming overnight crash to the United States dollar. This crash will be felt on a global level and many currency values will change as a result. Many currencies will change in value or revalue once this event happens. Many people have purchased the Iraqi dinar and the Vietnamese dong as an investment and as a way to protect themselves from this coming crash. Some believe that value will be transferred out of paper currencies and into assets like gold and silver. Some believe that the entire global economy will crash leading to a total collapse of society as we know it. Others believe that a set of laws will be implemented that will restructure the value of currencies all over the world. Rest assured that this giant conspiracy theory is one big hoax that is propagated to entice people into investment scams all over the world. Everything from foreign currency to precious metals is hype as a means of survival. Investing in foreign currencies such as the dinar and the dong is a complete scam. This conspiracy is responsible for making preppers out of many people and new people are converted all the time. Selling newsletters with junk economics littered with this conspiracy theory has now become big business. Many prepper products are also sold and this conspiracy theory has become a way to scare people into many different types of investment scams. This book exposes the lies associated with the global currency reset belief system. It disproves the junk economics and it corrects the rewriting of history by this conspiracy. Many false quotes from historical figures are also used to add validity to their conspiracy. This book totally debunks the global currency reset and it arms the reader with the knowledge needed to spot these investment scams. The last chapter in this book provides many links to verify the things that are said.
This will allow the reader to further their own research and gain an understanding regarding how the global economy really works. Thanks for watching. Very system altogether. Many armchair economists have emerged to claim that some nations may even base their currency values on their resources. The claim is that all currencies will revalue based on the country's assets. This will cause gold to skyrocket as people begin to seek a hedge of protection from depleting currency values. The problem with this theory is that there are major obstacles to overcome. First, central banks around the world would need to agree to this, and this would put major constraints on their monetary policies. Second, there would need to be a lot of cooperate leaders from nations around the world decided on a new global currency system. This led to the formation of global organizations like the International Monetary Fund and GATT, which later became the World Trade Organization. The world's allied nations agreed on a fixed currency rate which was sort of based on a global gold standard. The US dollar was the currency that nations used to back their currency under this agreement. The reason for this was because the United States was in possession of most of the world's gold supply at this time. America benefited greatly from this new currency system and the dollar made its way into central banks around the world. In time we left the fixed rate system. Richard Nixon stopped backing US dollars with gold globally in 1971. This was known as the Nixon shock. Today all the major currencies float on a global market. While some things have changed we are still on the remnants of the Bretton Woods system. Many central banks still have the dollar in their reserves and it remains in high demand today. After the 2008 global meltdown, many have speculated that we are going to return to another gold standard. Some believe that there will be another monetary set, new world order, economic collapse, economic news, political, geopolitical news. Today, we talk about 100% truth about global currency reset. What is the global currency reset? There is more than one meaning that is attached to the phrase global currency reset. A standard definition would be a return to a global currency system that all nations would agree upon. The last time nations gathered together to agree upon a new global currency system was in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire. While World War II was still going on. Special Reports is a daily show that will cover issues surrounding the economic collapse. All our reports and daily alert news are backed up by source links. We work very hard to bring you the facts and we research everything before presenting the report. Subscribe for latest on financial crisis, oil price, global economic collapse, dollar collapse, gold, silver, bitcoin, global